What's going on everybody? Welcome to Jordan's Film Quest. Today's adventure brings me to downtown Cleveland, Ohio here. We're doing a filming location from a specific movie starring Joan Jett, the artist, musical artist, rock and roll artist, and Michael J. Fox. Marty McFly from Back to the Future. They both did a movie together called Light of Day. Some of it was filmed here in Cleveland. Some of it filmed elsewhere. One of the more known locations right across the street from me. Let's check it out. So I'm on the corner of 117th Street and Euclid. Check this out. That building right there is the Euclid Tavern where they would play their music shows inside of that bar there. Now, it no longer exists. The Euclid Tavern closed down quite some time ago. And I do believe that multiple uh, bars have been put in since and they just ended up closing down. But uh, it's still pretty cool that the Euclid Tavern sign is still there. And of course, it's a busy day here downtown Cleveland. I say that and like all the cars just disappear as like 30 just rolled by. But we're gonna get a closer look at the Euclid Tavern. And here we go across the street before I get hit. If anyone is curious, it is right next to the Cleveland Hearing and Speech Center. Come over here and check out the Euclid Tavern. Now I know that nobody currently owns it. Yes, I just tripped. So we're gonna see if we can get some sneak peeks inside and see what we can see. Can't really see much. So there's the bar. There's another window over here. Is this, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, band entrance only, that makes sense. Is there anything? Nope, just a wall. So right there, on the other side of this wall, up where those steps are, is where the stage would have been when they played their show. Let's go over here again and see what you know, this just steps that go up. Let's look over here, you can see the bar again. Yeah. The bar can be seen in multiple shots as well. And of course the stage to the left of the bar is where it would have been. It sucks this place is closed because I definitely would have loved to see the inside of it. So being that I'm a huge fan of rock and roll, I can definitely appreciate the fact that Joan Jett and Michael J. Fox did a movie together. Really cool. And as soon as I started doing filming locations and found out that they did a movie here in Cleveland, I immediately wanted to come check it out. So why wouldn't I? And of course, Joan Jett's music, you know, I love rock and roll or my personal favorite, hate myself for loving you and then you know the list goes on and on but i do really like the song lie today that they did specifically for this movie so good taste in music i guess all right so here we go back across the street really quick before i end the video i want to line up one specific shot that was featured in the film and it's right here across the street i kind of did it a few minutes ago so during the opening montage of the movie, it's showing a bunch of random clips of downtown Cleveland. And then right before they get to the bar, there's a shot just like this, where the Euclid Tavern can be seen in the shot as well. Now those trees weren't there during filming and now you kind of can't even really see the front of it, which kind of sucks, but their liquor, food, Euclid Tavern sign is still there. That's really cool. 
And of course, over time, things changed. Now this movie was made in 1987, so this building wasn't even here yet because in the shot, there's a car parked right next to the alleyway and none of this building is seen in the shot. Also, the two front doors right there that we walked past earlier, the front of the building was a little bit different. There were, the doors were painted red and there was different, there was a different cement layout. So the front of it's not exactly the same, but the top of it where the orangish yellow brick is, the windows are still the same. The two windows over here are still the same. And it's got in the middle of the two window sections, one that goes straight across. So that's still there. This building to the left was still there. And that brick building was not there. In the shot, it was a, what I think was a car lot. So, Cleveland has really grown up since then. All right, y'all, it's gonna be a wrap on the only filming location that I know of here in Cleveland for light of day. If anybody knows any other filming locations here in Cleveland, drop a comment down below and I'll get an even longer video set up for this movie. But it was still cool though, nonetheless, to see the old Euclid Tavern here in Cleveland. This has been on my list for quite some time, so I'm really glad that I was able to share this experience with you guys as I experienced it for the first time as well. So, that being said, like, subscribe, comment, share, guys. Take care, be safe, long live rock. I'll see you guys next time on Jordan's Film Quest.